Hi, it's Professor Murray. In the last video, I showed you how to download and install uh, CCW, Connected Components Workbench. And one item I didn't go over is you may have to also download a small utility from Microsoft. It's called .NET Framework 3.5. And uh, CCW uses that utility uh, I'm not sure what for, but anyway, it, it needs that installed. So you might have to go just Google it and download it and install it on your computer. And after that, it's pretty seamless. You'll never know that it's there. Okay, so you got CCW, hopefully downloaded and installed. And now what can you do with it? Well, actually, you can't do much with it because most of you don't have a PLC and other hardware at home. So in order to really make any use of it, you need one more software. And the one that I recommend for that is called Factory IO. And let's just go online and have a look at Factory IO for a minute. So best way to find it, just type Factory IO. And here it is. So this is a software that interfaces with PLCs. It's a simulation software. Uh, it's developed in Europe by a company called Real Games. And we've used it for quite a few years and it works very well. So let me just go to, I'll click on learn here. and scroll down to scenes and all of these scenes are built into factory IO and if you want to know what they do you just click on whichever one and they have a little short YouTube video that shows what the scene does so it's a nice little preview okay to get the software there's a few different options let me just go back to their home page here we are so as you can see, you can try it for free for 30 days. So that's a that's one good way to do it. Uh, if you do want to buy it, let's click on buy. There's a few different options. The ultimate edition, that's what we use at school, but you don't need that. You can see that one is 700 euros. And what you want to do is uh, you don't want to get the starter edition either because it doesn't have enough features. But you want to get this Allen Bradley edition. And that one will work with the CCW software. So it's it's around, you can see, $500 a year. No, I'm sorry, $500 for a permanent license or, you know, $200 a year. Uh, that's probably about $20 a month. I, I'm not sure the conversion between euros and dollars. But anyway, it's fairly inexpensive. So that's two ways. You can get it for free for a month. You can buy your own copy. And if you're in the industrial automation program at Bakersfield College, you can actually use a legal version for no cost. And that's because the school has several licenses. And on your Canvas page, or you can contact me directly, you can find the share code, which is the basically the activation, activation number for the software. Uh, it's a little bit of a search to find their download page and what I do is I just go back to Google and factory IO and download and then I look for the download archive. And from here you can download uh, you know any version you want but Obviously, you probably want to do the latest version. So there's the download the installer there. And it's not like CCW. It's not a huge software. So it's it's pretty uh, pretty quick to install. And there's no, uh, no real tricks to it. Other than I, I believe you need that .NET frame 
Maker 3.5 for this software also. Okay, so that's all it is to get factory I.O. And in the next video, I'll go over how to get CC, CCW and factory I.O. working together so that you can have a full working system right at your home computer. Okay, talk to you soon.